Nebraska Governor Dave Heinemann led a trade mission to China in July to enhance the state's economic relationship with China. Governor Heinemann recently sat down with China Daily in Tampa, Florida, while attending the Republican National Convention, and shared his views on how expanding the Nebraska-China relations will benefit both countries.、Uh, you led a delegation of about 40 people to China. You visited Beijing, Shanghai, and Xi'an. So、uh, let's start from there. Well, you know, a lot of people、uh, in, in China would know about California or New York. But they don't know about the heartland of America, which is、uh, Nebraska, and that's why we went to Shanxi Province, the heartland、uh, of China. But when you think about Nebraska, and what do we have to offer? Well,、uh, you've got Balin Manufacturing that makes a, a number of materials that, and, and supply bins that are helpful、uh, in China. Been there for over 20 years. Uh, I was there for、uh, Home Instead. Has just been there、uh, a year, and they help your aging population. Then irrigation equipment、uh, companies. Nebraska is the leader in the production of irrigation equipment all over the world.、Uh, we've got major railroads that have、uh, transportation interests there. During his visit in Xi'an, Governor Heinemann signed a letter of intent with Shanxi Governor Zhao Zhengyun to form a sister state relationship between the two heartland states in the two countries. The first thing we learned that made、uh, Xi'an special was it's in the heartland of China. Well, we're in the heartland of America. Agriculture could be an opportunity there. Manufacturing.、Uh, I met with Governor、uh, Zhao.、Uh, we just had a great time, and the people were so great to us. Nebraska is in the process of setting up a trade office in Shanghai as Nebraskans and Chinese seek more business opportunities on each other's territory. We had decided、uh, this is the second trade office that、uh, we've set up in Nebraska. No one had ever done it before. Before I was governor, I went to Japan maybe five or six years ago. We set one up in Tokyo. They're our third largest trading partner. Well, you look at China, 1.3, 1.4 billion people.、Uh, our exports to China from Nebraska have grown by 30 percent a year for the last three years. We knew this was a great opportunity, so we decided. This is where we should be. It was the second trade mission to China after his visit in 2007. What impressed the governor in both trips was how much the Chinese people have already learned about Nebraska, the hometown of the American investor Warren Buffett. The Chinese business community has great respect for him.、Uh, they're glad to be part of his team where he's invested. And how do they learn from him? Well. Uh, he's from Nebraska. We think a number of other business leaders can help uh, uh, the Chinese government, the Chinese business leaders learn what we've learned, and it just starts with good old-fashioned common financial sense. So yes,、um, certainly Warren, we're very proud of him. But I had a sense as I talked to、uh, various people in China, they knew who Warren Buffett was, and they'd like to be like him. So would we. How do you think the Chinese investment can、uh, contribute to? The state's growth. I, I think it will. It's already contributing、uh, in that regard. But we want Chinese companies, if they're going to come to America, establish your headquarters in Nebraska.、Uh, low energy costs, great quality of life, great tax environment.、Uh, we're two days from anywhere in America. We're right in the central. A part of the United States of America, so it makes sense. We've already had, as I said, five or six Chinese companies who decided they were going to be headquartered in Nebraska. A number of others have made commitments to us when we were in China, and so we want to help them. And as they grow and prosper, they're going to talk to others. Uh, business leaders in China and encourage them to come to Nebraska. So, this is a partnership that we want for a lifetime. Global trade and investment generate more than 50,000 jobs and more than nine billion dollars in new money each year in Nebraska. China has been the second most active foreign investor during the past three years, with six new companies investing in the state. We want you to feel comfortable when you come to Nebraska. And our thought process is, as we grow the number of businesses, then、uh, the people who are coming will feel very comfortable. They'll ha- hire many Nebraskans who go to work for them,、uh, and it's something we understand. You know, a lot of states don't fully appreciate. Yes, we want to export to China, but we want you to invest in our state. It's a two-way street. We understand that. China is Nebraska's fourth largest trading partner, with combined exports totaled more than $380 million last year. You've been growing at 30% a year for the last three years.、Uh, you're going to continue to grow. Obviously, we have a good、uh, a relationship with Canada and Mexico. They're our northern and southern partners, but we're looking throughout the world. 
Uh, you'll need our food, you'll need other things that we produce in Nebraska. Uh, we need things that you produce in China. So uh, you're going to go from four to three to two, maybe eventually the number one export partner we have. Nebraska will host the third reciprocal trade mission next year, where they will invite more Chinese business people to visit the state. For Governor Heinemann, these visits are not only about exploring business opportunities, they have a rather bigger role to play to promote a closer relationship between the U.S. and China. And you know, whether you're in America or China, a smile will go a long way. Uh, we believe, you know, the two of us have a, a, an obligation to the entire world. If China and America are strong, the world's going to be strong. And economically, we need to be uh, connected. We need to have a strong relationship. And in my state, we'd like to do our part.